Hello everyone, welcome to the Trust My Craft YouTube channel. I am design team member Kanika Jain and before we move forward make sure you click on the subscribe button and as well turn on the bell notification so you never miss an update from us. So in today's video we are going to learn a DIY journal tutorial using transfer me sheets. So let's get started. So to start off here I am adding a cardstock which is larger than the size of my journal page to protect my journal and here I am using distress oxide inks in the shade speckled egg wilted violet, picked raspberry, worn lipstick, fossilized amber and crackling campfire. So here I am just adding the oxide inks onto my non-stick craft mat. This is the thick one from Dress My Craft only. If you want to check the review of this mat, you can surely check out my previous videos as well. Now I am simply diluting the inks by misting some water and as well I am misting water on my journal page so that the colors can blend very well. And here I am taking a flat brush and using this I am simply creating the background by merging multiple colors and I am giving the shades like how I want. I want the background to be very colorful so I am just blending in the shades as well so that a new color is formed and meanwhile I am as well using my heat tool to set the colors before I move on to the next layer and likewise I am just creating the layers using the distress oxide inks and this will give a very beautiful background before I start working with the transfer me sheets and this is how it looks once I am done now I am using wilted violet distress oxide and I am misting water and using a round brush I am simply adding another layer like this and this will give a very complete background and this will look nice as well. So you can have a closer look like this is how my background looks like. Now let's start working with the transfer me sheets. So here I have the lace collection and this is how I have fussy cut my lace and I'll be adding it on the top and bottom. So what I did, I just took up my fussy cutting scissors and likewise I simply had fussy cut this so that it looks very neat and clean. And once I'm satisfied, I'll simply remove the top layer and I'll place it upside down where I want my journal to have the transfer me sheet. And simply I'll just cut out the extra part and as well I'll save this part and I can use this later on. Similarly on the top as well I'll do the same thing. Now for the next step here I have taken a bowl of water that's the normal tap water and a sponge and I am simply dabbing it onto the area where I have put in my transfer me sheet. Please see that I have used distress inks and distress inks are water reactive so just in case if you don't want to lose the color so what you can do is you can simply add a layer of varnish earlier as well but i didn't mind the water getting reacted so i had not applied a layer of varnish and i simply added the transfer me sheets and you can see how beautiful this looks let me give you a closer look as well can you see how beautiful this is looking already now let's move on to the next step so here i have taken another transfer me sheet this is the vintage queen and out of this i have fussy cut the crown which is this one so it has another crown but i have taken the bigger one and i'll be placing it here then i have taken the soulmates transfer me sheet and i have using never stop dreaming but i am not going to use it likewise as well i am using the quotes hash one and i'll be using every day is a fresh start 
so let's start working with these so i'll be placing like this but i'll give a twist to it so what i'm doing is here i have taken the fishnet design stencil from dress my craft and fossilized amber distress oxide and on the sides i am simply distressing it like this and i am not doing a very dark stenciling i am just adding a little bit of stenciled look to my journal page now let's move on to the next step and here i'm simply adding the crown to my journal page then i'll be adding never stop dreaming and then i'll add another transfer me cut out which is this which is every day is a new start and now within one go itself i'll simply add water on all the elements like so and i'm making sure that i am adding water on the area where i have put on my transfer me sheet and not on the area where i have distressed as i don't want the distressed look to go away so i am being little careful with that as well i have linked all the craft supplies which i have used in this video in the description box so you can check that out also if you are using transfer me sheets so do tag dress my craft on social media we would love to see your projects and do use hashtag transfer me sheets so that we can see your beautiful projects and you can see this is how it looks now i let it dry for about 5 minutes or so and then here i am taking archival ink in the shade pink peony and i have taken a script stencil and i have taken a lighter shade of archival ink and i am simply adding it likewise i am using a lighter shade of archival ink as i don't want the script to look very bold as i want the main focus on the transfer me and you can see it has got that soft background look and this is how it looks now moving on to the next step here i am using kedans aqua stone varnish and i am simply adding it directly on my project which is my journal page and now with the help of my flat brush i am simply spread the varnish likewise making sure i don't ruin the other pages of my journal and as it's a transparent varnish you can't see how it looks but once i am done i'll just show and it will change the look of your journal first thing is that it will seal the transfer me sheet and second is that it will give a very nice glossy look to your journal page and i would recommend you to apply at least two layers of varnish as it will seal your journal page completely and it would look very nice as well so here i am done with the first layer i let it dry for about an hour or so and then i'll go on with the second layer i hope you enjoyed watching this journal tutorial and i hope to see you soon with another video till then happy crafting